Now that I've kind of got the valve adjusted, I'm just going to spin this thing over. Uh, I want to hear it turn over with the valve all working up and down. Bear with me. Another thing I want to do is spin the oil pump with a screwdriver gun. What I'm going to need is a long screwdriver blade that I can stick down in here. Let me go but get some oil and some STP and put in this first and then I'll come back. This STP actually came from a gallon can that uh, Eric Jordan or Pirate Life uh, had that he wanted me to make a banjo out of. So he said he wanted a banjo made out of the STP can. I said, what you gonna do with the STP? And he said, you want it? And I said, absolutely I want it. So I put it in this tea jug. Now Eric Jordan was learning to play the banjo. He was a YouTuber. He made a lot of cool videos. And then he's uh, lost his hearing basically. Um, he's got tinnitus. And a lot of people say they got tinnitus, but they really, they, they like me, I got a little ring in my ear, but he's got tinnitus that makes you go deaf. And it's too bad because he can't hear a banjo, so he can't play a banjo. Um, but he's still a heck of a nice guy. He's still out there. He doesn't make videos so much because he's kind of challenged about how to make videos when he can't hear. Awful nice guy though. Y'all keep him in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, we visited him down in Richmond when we were out in the RV a couple, three years ago. We plan to visit him again uh, next time we're in Virginia to see Todd and him. So I'm gonna put roughly about a pint of this lovely STP right on in here. And oh, don't just bring back memories of going to the gas station on a cold morning and, and the guy that ran the gas station had set a can of STP on the little gas heater and let it warm up because you couldn't pour it out if it was cold. If it was too cold it wouldn't. It was too stiff to pour. <laughs> Weaver's Garage. I think it was Weaver's Gas Station. Nice folks. I'm pretty sure they're not alive anymore because them was old folks. Them was old guys when I was just a young wild young buck kid driving around a hot rod pickup truck. So I'm gonna top that off with some oil. And I didn't buy fancy schmancy $40 gallon oil. I just bought, I walked in there and said, give me, you know, just looked over the shelf and picked up the cheapest thing they had, plain old car quest 10W30. My camera just cut off and I don't know why it does that ever so often. So I've got, see down into this to see how much I've got. I've got that much in there and I want to put about that much. So I'm just going to flow it on in here plentifully. So with me having poured what I poured in there, I can put about another pint of this over in there. And we should have about four quarts in there now. Maybe a little bit more with the STP. And as I work on this, I will let it settle down. Now the other thing I talked about doing is spinning the oil pump. And what you can do, your oil pump gear is connected down here on the bottom of this distributor. And you should be able to take a uh, If you've got a screwdriver with it, with the top of it cut off, you should be able to stick that in a screwdriver gun, and spin that thing, and have it pump oil. I don't know if you can spin it fast enough without a screwdriver gun to do that or not. But you wanna make sure you got oil pumping. I think what I'm gonna do is, that's a screw, it needs to be a screwdriver about. I don't know about as long as that. I don't know if I'm gonna have a screwdriver that long or not. And I don't know if I can get a, uh, let's see, I might have, 
I'm gonna look around. I'm gonna do a little looking around, see what we got here. Okay, so uh, I didn't saw a part of drill, but I am getting some results here. I have uh, basically stuck this drill in here and just started turning it, and I can hear the sound of oil being moved by that uh, that, that thing in there. And what I'd love to see is some of it come pumping up through the lifters and out to the rocker arms here. So I'm going to put if I was willing to sacrifice one of them screwdrivers, I could put a drill on it. But you know what? It's a good screwdriver. It's a good craftsman screwdriver. I don't want to ruin one. I might be able to get enough turn, though. See some oil pumping somewhere. Also, if I had another old distributor shaft, didn't have the gear on it. I could use one of those and spin it. I'm gonna have to pop the gear off of it, but I don't know if this step is necessary. I thought it might be kind of fun to see it pump a little oil. Oh, 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 I got all I got an overflow right there. Well I guess it's pumping oil. Uh I uh I pulled off the uh There's a little, this is where you hook your oil pressure gauge to, and I, I took that off and stuck it in my pocket, and oil came out of here and ran down. So, yes, we got oil. We got oil pumping. Sure do. Sure do. All right, I'm going to call that good now. I like it. So next thing I want to do is clean up that intake. I do believe before I put it on there, I might as well make it clean. I could stand to do some general clean up in the garage here all together anyway. Let's get on to that. Okay. 